Cry me a river. Ooh. Cry me a river. Yeah, I think this is gonna make like YouTube's worst voices or something. Yeah. But uh, we're here. We're back. Uh, last installment. Yeah. So well, last of the base game. Of the base game. Sure. Last installment of the faction strategies for Scythe. With the Crimean Khanate, with Zahra and Kar. Zahra and Kar. Zahra. That's right. I'm assuming Zahra is the eagle's name, right? I don't know. Actually, I think. I, I mean. I think. I think it's the last. Okay. Just. I think it's a lady, no? She, she, she's Zahra. Yeah. yeah. Sure, 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 sure. All right. So yeah, Crimean Khanate. Every other faction in the game uses combat cards to fight, and if you have so many of them, you'll be like, "What do I do with all these dollar dollar bills, yo?" But these guys can turn these into an excellent resource. In fact, any resource they want to. Once per round or once per turn, they can turn a single one of these cards into a, uh, a resource, a resource of, their of their choice. To, to, to help make bottom actions cheaper. Mm. You can think of it as like a uh, one-time upgrade for a certain thing, which can go beyond the, the price of, of, of these things. And, and, and so combat cards become a commodity for the Crimean faction. And you mm -hmm. should use these when you can, as best as you can. Okay, so, one problem though. They have five military power, mm -hmm. but zero combat card style. So you're like, what? How am I supposed to use things that I don't have? Well, your job is to get them early on. Yeah. And how do we get them? Well, let's take a look at their starting location. What do you see over there, Jeb? Bridge, some grain, and, uh, an encounter right there yep. with the metal. metal. So that's... Mm. Excellent. That's right. So, metal, great, fantastic, getting mixed up, really good, helps access these special powers and get them off the running island. Mm -hmm. And the village, ooh, great way to get some workers out, nice. Get some babies. Grain, mm -hmm. precious, precious grain. If there was a single recruit fraction, it would be the Crimean Khani. So, so, so these guys are all about recruiting. And, mm -hmm. and uh, if, if there's any one faction in the game that, that benefits from recruiting, it's the Crimean Khani. Really? Because it is the best source of combat cards, cards in the game, yeah. right? So, so unlike... Because it's a passive source of combat cards. That's right. right. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it is indeed a passive source mm -hmm. of combat cards. And uh, something to consider is that... Uh, well, we'll get to it in a sec. But basically, when you recruit, your first recruit should be, without any question, without any doubts, there is virtually no reason to deviate from this, unless your opponent is like hog deep into mechs and you want to get as much as you can from the mechs before it happens, mm -hmm. is the recruit one. Because mm -hmm. you're planning to recruit some more. And the other, the best recruit bonus you should take is... The cards. The combat cards. Hey. You should not do anything different than that, because this is going to be your first two combat cards, and any recruits that your opponents happen to do in the future will be more cards and first resources for you. For you. Mm -hmm. So totally, that should be your starting position, right? Yeah. Uh, additionally, future recruits can be based off what your opponents do, but, but it gives you cards and that can help fuel your economy. And, and you should be playing a very tight game where you look at the weak combat cards, not the fives, the, the twos and the threes, and be thinking about how you can spend them as pseudo resources to help fuel the other actions that, that the you bottom can take. Right? The bottom actions you can take, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you can do some pretty cool things. Like in this case, normally you can only upgrade for two oil in this particular board, but with combat cards, you can make it one. That's great. So for a single trade of two oil, you can now space that out into two individual upgrade Upgrades. actions. How cool How is that? Cool. It's some, this is something that, that no other faction can do very well, which is um, stretch out resources because of the combat cards. Mm -hmm. And that's something you can, you can use to get bottom stars faster than most other factions. That's, that's nice. sort of their strength. Um, now, we should talk a bit about mechs, okay? Mm -hmm. so, so we have, as so always, the four mechs. Out of those four, that's right. which would you recommend Speed to be? Speed is always Speed. good. Uh, Riverwalk, uh, again, only leads to one choice, which is the oil, although it's a, it's a fine spot. It's connected to two spaces. Mm -hmm. um, Wayfair is interesting. I, I don't think it's a very good choice. Now, what Wayfair does is it lets you teleport uh, from a territory or a home base to any inactive faction space. Mm. So if you're playing just the core game, you're, it's basically freebies to the expansion of factions or any other faction which is not there. Now, the problem with this is that it's really slow because because uh, if you move from here to here, that is one move, and then you would need so a... So from the same lake thingy that Polonia has. That we saw has, with Polonia, yeah. that's right. Unless you pair it with plus one movement speed, not fantastic. Not fantastic yeah. So I, I think the, 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 the strength of the Crimean Khanate to get resources out faster is balanced by having a somewhat weaker exit point through mm. the Riverwalk river walk. ability. But it's a still, it's a better option from the Riverwalk that only lead to one space. Actually, this Riverwalk 
leads you to two spaces, no? Yeah. It's only no. The, the oil over there. Oh, but, sorry, yeah, but, yeah. but the fact that you have two points that can walk into it yes, is powerful. Exactly. So you yeah. can spread out your guys and yeah. take care of that. And nominally, your workers would start at the village, you get a mech, hopefully, and then you can move them out to the middle spot. And then from here, you can you know, start converging on that point and spreading out from there. Now, a, a savvy Saxony player might choose to block you off over here, knowing that you have to walk out there at some point. But hey, you can reasonably sit back and just build things up, remembering that your combat cards are a form of resources, so you can quickly build up the power you need to take on an aggressive Saxony if need be. Okay, so that's kind of their thing. Uh, people have asked me How if... How about Scout? Sc oh yeah, I should do that. Sorry. Scout is cute. Scout is cute, right? Do you, do you want combat cards to fuel your economy? Well, scout is a way to steal them. steal them from an opponent's hand. Uh, and I remember when I was it's, playing it's, it's the Khan at one some point, I actually had to ask how many com five combat cards there are in the game, and the answer was like, I am six, like, look yeah. at the, like look at the board, dude. Then I realized like I had like five of the six. So you were like, you're like okay, I, I'm in a good spot. I can, I can go. I can start. relax and get my two combat stars start, when I need to. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And the fact that they can get their mechs out means that they're more likely to get into fights and be able to do that for sure. Um, now, uh, let's let me make a point about combat cards and getting them through bolster. I, I do personally think that getting combat cards through bolster is not a good idea because. You, even if you get two for the price of one, that's your whole turn just getting two combat cards, which will then help you spend to get other things. I think it's far better to still just produce and trade your mm -hmm. way to what you need. I still think it's far better to bolster and for get three. The because you start off power, yeah. reasonably high, yeah. uh, and it's not, uh, even with producing with five, and five you can still workers, get there. you can still get there for sure. They're, they're one of the easiest factions to get up to 16 uh, military power for to get that star. Uh, and especially with the fact that you're recruiting, you also get the two from here. If you unlock the, the, the uh, upgrades, and you might get a few from there as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, buildings are a little hard for them to get through. The, the, the resource furthest away from the Crimean Khan is, is wood because they can get to the oil spot, but mm -hmm. they can get to the, the metal, metal, the, 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 grain. the grain, and the oil, but the furthest away is wood. So it's going to be a little hard for them to, to, to get buildings out. Yeah. That could be their weakest um, bottom action, I guess. Although I think I got zero buildings out when I was playing them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's one data point right there. Um, what do people usually ask you? What do people usually ask me? You were saying something. Oh, I people forgot. People, oh yeah, pe oh, yeah, that's right. I was talking about the combat cards. Should, should you bolster to get the combat cards? And my answer was no. Uh, you should really bolster to get the military power because that's, mm -hmm. uh, that's a card. You, you don't get, uh, you don't get a, a star through combat cards. Yes. Even though these guys can spend combat cards, right? Um, that's that's Crimean shtick. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of, so we talked about mechs. We talked about so buildings, um, or just buildings in general. They, they, I think, because of their singular nature, they will probably want to focus on one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. So get their workers in the right place to make the resources they need to produce the thing and spend the cards to help make them cheaper. Uh, ideally, with trade, you'll want to have like in this case, you might want to have like a supply of oil so that you can go back and forth between the oil action, spending the cards yeah. to do so, and then the main action where your workers are. Like in this case, producing is underneath. Uh, oh, look at that. Great. Wow. Ah, perfect. Look at that. That's that's like a one two combo made in heaven for, for this fucking right. faction. Patriotic. Remember that. Patriotic. Good border for the Crimean honey. Alright, um, aside from that, I don't think these guys are big about the factory. I think they are, could be strong early on. They could take the factory, potentially, since they have the five card. If they have, like, good, I mean, they, they, go, they can go there with a uh, hero on a mech and. It's, it's, a, it. it's a little slower because they have to first get the river walk and then the plus one speed and then they can make their way over there. Yeah, sure. So, eh, maybe for, for a last star. Yeah. yeah. Uh, certainly faster than the Polanian faction, I think. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, depends on their. The counter card that they get from the from the get go. So, think yeah. about recruiting. Mm. Think about um, how you stretch your resources to be able to do the bottom actions very very early on. Mm -hmm. um, get your mechs out. Mm -hmm. Get your upgrades out. That's right. R uh, I say river walk first, maybe plus one speed after, mm -hmm. and then, or maybe the uh, ceiling combat cards, depending on if you're about to get into a fight. Uh, but I'd say yeah, river walk plus one speed, and then that, and I'd say leave wayfair for last. It's not as yeah. good as you think. So that's it, folks, for this series on faction strategies of the base game of Scythe. That's right. And uh, stay tuned for future videos. That's right. Will we, do the, will we do the more advanced ones? We'll see. Well, maybe when I win a game with them, I'll lose. <laughs> yeah, maybe when I don't end up last with them. <laughs>
That was depressing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so guys. that was us. Jadia Amin, Sani Fakhouri. That's Until right. Until next time. That's right. Thank you.